Tim Westerman, one of the leading cuppers of the coffee world, my colleague at Coffee Review, graciously came in to help brew the coffees this morning. So if you saw a hand, that was Kim's hand <laughs> delivering the coffee. Thank you. Uh, remind me to get a release. Of <laughs> <before>. <laughs> Well, my first reaction is, is a lovely coffee, and it's a balanced and complete without any showy elements in the, uh, in the nose. Mm, that's and I'm guessing nice. this is a very clean natural, but it could be a washed coffee. It's definitely not an anaerobic, I hope. If so, the anaerobic people have gotten really good. <laughs> No, you're safe. What are you getting in the nose, Kevin? Well, I, I, I could tell you right away I'm getting blueberry. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I but I, I can find it. You probably know it's a natural, and so you're I do. looking for blueberries, Guy. No, I do know what it is, though, and I want to <laughs> be fair. So that's why I wanted you to go first more than me. I, I could tell you this. I'm certainly susceptible to uh, yeah. uh, some programming, marketing programming. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, uh, for me, the chocolate is, is quite prominent, a kind of a very, very kind of... Yeah. I'll uh, use the overused term elegant, very kind of elegant chocolate and uh, a deep expressive floral notes that could be rose or could be perhaps lily. No, I think rose is better, but it could be any nice, sweet, full, full fragrance flower. At any rate, a very nice chocolate. <laughs> and. The fruit, I'm not really, I, I don't associate blueberry with what I'm getting, but I guess I could. The problem with blueberry is that you get it in different ways. There's fresh blueberry, yeah. crushed blueberry, and then blueberry syrup and like uh, Yeah, it's kind pancakes. of a candied blueberry. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that's what I'm yeah. getting more. And actually, I'm getting, now that you mentioned chocolate, I'm really getting that too. There's a little bit of like aromatic wood, a kind of a pungency in it too. Mm. I don't know. It could be. Wow. Floral. If you want to be very romantic, could be sandalwood. If you want to sandalwood. be more mundane, you could call it cedar. So let's taste and see. Well, the the mouth feel is very smooth and sort of satiny, but it's not very heavy. It, no. Most naturals have a more substantial mouthfeel than this, assuming that it is a natural. But the structure, I think, is it has a kind of a little bit of a dry, bitter edge along with the sweetness. Yeah, I taste it. I didn't yeah. smell it, but I sort of taste it's it. It's a little disappointing in the cup. I think that the aromatics will display better as it cools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that the, since we're drinking it hot, I think we're getting that uh, kind of a little bit of a bitter astringency in a more pronounced way than after it cools. Yeah. But it's very nice. Oh yeah. It is the it is a one of those coffees that people who say. Oh, I like the smell of coffee. I don't like the taste of it. Uh, this will be a great coffee to hand them to smell. I will say that. Yeah, it has a little bit of uh, this of drying edge that I call that some people like. I mean, people like white wines, for example. They're very, um, they appreciate uh, a kind of a drying sensation mm -hmm. on the tongue. Me, I'm not much of a, guy for drying sensation on the tongue. But it, it also has a kind of a, a presence, a pronounced presence that I, I like. I mean, if, if you were to add a little bit of half and half to this coffee, it would smooth it out and uh, bring yep. out some of the fruit and florals, probably. 
Yeah. But yeah, somebody who says, I like strong coffee, this has meaning uh, intense taste, a kind of a challenging taste, uh, would uh, probably appreciate this. It's not very heavy bodied, but it has a lot of, of energy. You're going to disclose what this coffee is? Uh, yeah, I can disclose it. It's a, um, okay, it's an Ethiopia from Alanis Coffee Roasters, and it is a natural, uh, it is a um, uh, Sadamo from uh, the Ardi Cooperative in southwest Ethiopia, as you mentioned, and uh, it's, cons I mean, I think, um, I think that I know Eric pretty well, who, uh, is the roaster Eric Stogsdale and and he uh, I think he would I would think he would call this a fruit bomb he loves Ethiopians he's always I, the, the biggest challenge with with uh, this roaster is every time I go there they have they've got they always got they're always changing out their Ethiopians he's always uh, mm -hmm. looking for something else and he just loves to uh, he's usually got a couple of two or three on his uh, page so does he uh, use and, does he say hmm. use fruit bomb in a positive or negative connotation? Oh no no, I think in a in a positive definitely. Okay. He didn't say fruit bomb to me. I I, I think that I would say citrus yeah. body, black tea, caramel, and red grape. Now That's, I didn't get the red. Yeah. You know, there yet. I, I can I can get all but those if uh, they're not my favorites, but I get them. This is a, not a very uh, balmy fruity natural it's a very what we what we at coffee review call a clean natural uh, i guess the bitterness the slight bitter edge pushes back against the idea of clean but it is it's a very clean it, it's rather bright has some acidity and so it doesn't have the the big heavy round fruity sweetness that maybe we'll get another one today that will have that but it's a very it's, nice, it's a, to me, a, very, a balanced, crisp, not uh, quietly washed. complex Ethiopian natural. Ken, it says washed on it. I, I uh, Did I say it was a... Uh, oh, my God. Not, well, I covered myself, man. I said... You did. Yeah, you I said did. I, I'm sorry. I, think, I, I just this could I, be a... I think I misstated that, though. Oh, I just wanted God. to correct myself. Yeah. I mean, well, I this, is, a dry uh, this is... It's washed. <clears throat> Yeah, I see. The point is the the light body points yeah, to a washed be, coffee. In other yeah. words, the fruit is removed before it's dried. The yeah. crispness points to a washed coffee. What would point to a natural, perhaps, is the fact that it's. Um, I think the flowers too. The flowers are are kind of mid-range flowers, like rose or lilac. But see, it didn't, uh, that's why I wouldn't, when you said fruit bomb, I wouldn't call this a fruit bomb. It has fruit. It has a nice fruit, a uh, clean fruit. Uh, but the sort of uh, slightly um, crisp edge, that, that characteristic is usually a characteristic of a washed coffee. So, we made a mess of that one, Kevin. Let's carry on to number two. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, that um, well, uh, one way of looking at it is it can only go up. <laughs>